Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, Kubernetes 1.21 has been released and I've updated my Vagrant environment and LXD environment to using 1.21 Kubernetes version. Nothing exciting in this video, but I'm just going to go through my Kubernetes repository and the files that I've changed. I haven't merged it to the master branch yet, but I will be doing at the end of this video. Okay, so that's my Kubernetes repository. And if I go to the pull request, version bump 1.21 1.0 let's look at the files change so it's basically two things I've updated version Kubernetes version so previously I was using 1.20.5 yeah 1.20.5 or 1.20.0 and I've changed that to 1.21.0 so all the Kubernetes components kubeadm kubelet kubectl so you will get a 1.21.0 Kubernetes cluster. And the other change is the Vagrant box that I'm using for the Kubernetes nodes. So from 3.2.10 to 3.2.18. So this is the uh, the generic Ubuntu 20.04 Vagrant box. So if I show that here in Vagrant Cloud, that's the box that I'm using for my uh, Kubernetes nodes and version 3.2.18 was released four days ago. So I think those are the only changes. So this one is for the LXD provisioning, the Vagrant file, sorry, not the Vagrant file, but the bootstrap file for LXD provisioning. This one is just the readme for Kubernetes with CRIO documentation. And we have the Vagrant file for CRIO. And this is our usual Vagrant provisioning Vagrant file. Let's go ahead and clone this branch. Git clone. Kubernetes and I'm specifically cloning this particular branch version bump 1.21.0 right and if I open this up in Visual Studio Code Vagrant provisioning Vagrant file 3.2.18 yeah that looks good and in the bootstrap if I look at the Kubernetes version it's 1.21.0 yep and then under miscellaneous um, this the one this video I did um, a while ago about how to use CRIO as the container runtime for Kubernetes and I've used a Vagrant file there and again there I've changed the uh, box version to 3.2.18 and I've got my LXD provisioning and the bootstrap script where I've changed the Kubernetes version to 1.21.0 let's close this go back to the terminal CD to Kubernetes and then to Vagrant provisioning. We have our usual Vagrant file bootstrap scripts for Kmaster and Kworkers. Let's do a Vagrant up. But before that, let me show you Vagrant box list. Yeah, since I've already tested, I've got this box downloaded 3.2.18, but if you're doing this for the first time, it will take a few minutes, depending on the speed of your internet, to download this uh, new version of the Ubuntu 20.04 box from the Vagrant Cloud. Okay, let's do Vagrant up, and it's going to take seven minutes or so, and I'm gonna pause the video and come back when all the machines are up and running. Okay, the command completed. I'm going to make a directory called .cube under my home directory. All right, now I'm going to do an SCP command to copy etc kubernetes admin.com file from my kmaster into .cube directory that I created in my previous tab and the file name has to be config. Right, and the password for the root account is cube admin. Right, that's copied and if I do kubectl cluster info, Right, we can connect to the cluster, kubectl get nodes, one master, two worker nodes, all of them are ready, version 1.21.0, which is good. If I do k get nodes minus o dash dash o white, I want to 20.04 and uh, they are running container D runtime. Cool. Get ports dash a, right, all the usual system ports running the cube system namespace. Let's do a quick check. kubectl create deploy nginx image nginx kubectl get all all right nginx port is getting created so once that's created we will expose it as a node port service and then see if we can access it from different nodes in our kubernetes cluster all right kubectl get ports it's running now kubectl expose deploy nginx minus minus port 80 as type node port kubectl get service right that's our nginx service let's see if we can access it 30073 so that's the node port and i should be able to access the nginx page from any of the nodes in my kubernetes cluster so what should i do yeah i've got links which is the command line web browser 172.16.16.100 let's do the kmaster first 30073 cool that's nginx welcome page that's working fine 101 
working fine and 102 just gave worker 2 cool that's also working fine I think that's pretty much it I just did a quick uh, testing on this version 1.21.0 but if you're using my vagrant environment if you find any problems with the latest version of kubernetes 1.21.0 or any problems with the ubuntu vagrant box the latest version 3.2.18 was it yeah 3.2.18 if you find anything i haven't done extensive testing i've just i've just done the the basic testing like checking the container runtime interfaces and storage classes and things like that but if you find any problems please let me know or create a, a github issue then i'll be able to look into it right that's all for this video i'll see you all in my next video until then keep learning and keep on learning Bye-bye.